Welcome back, everybody, to Kadawa Shoujo, episode 108? 7? No, I have no idea. Episode 8, I think. 108. So, uh, last night, <laughs> Sao and Cecilia shared an amazingly hilarious release her night together. And now there is, here we go, next day. After being awoken by a sound, I open my eyes with a measure of reluctance. Turning my head to the left, I find the rain, out, the rain outside sweeps against the windows loudly. Spray after wind blown spray lash oh uh, loudly. Spray after wind blown spray lashes against the glass, as if trying to its hardest to make up for the summer's previous heat. I sit up in the futon, holding the back of my neck to try and subdue the pain from my awkward sleeping position. By all accounts, I should be lamenting the turn in the weather, given that this is our last day here. The events of yesterday refuse to stop flooding my mind, though. The feeling of holding Lily's crying body in my arms. The rush of lust and hormones that flowed through us as we spent the night together. It seems almost futile to try and rationalise everything that happened. In an attempt to... Just, they're probably going to fall apart now, aren't they? In an attempt to distract myself, I groan and leave over to re lean over to retrieve my bag. Oh, it's standing still. It's like... It's like Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, let's have sex. Oh yeah, yeah, oh my god. Okay, look, I think this relationship is falling apart. We need to break up. Okay. How much time that happened? Did that happen in the span of a day? In the te less than a day? Pulling it out one month after... Pulling out one bottle after another, I take the daily regime regimen's worth of pills from their containers and swallow them without further ado. It took a surprisingly short amount of time to get used to swallowing pills without water. That said, I suppose the same thing goes for getting used to living in a school for disabled students. Remembering Yamaku, I become all the more graceful for having the chance grateful for the chance to having to get away. Even if it's just for the shortest of times. It was the worst of times, it was the blurst of times. I appreciate the chance to spend time alone with Lily and Hanako, away from the bus bustle of school life, even considering the latest complications. I never thought I'd say it, but the idea of living away from the city in a nice tranquil area is an inviting one. It's a thought that barely a year ago, year ago would have seemed like simply ludicrous. Ludicrous speed. Oh my god, they've gone played. A flash of pink, no doubt Hanako's gown, peeks from around the corner. Realising I must look a, a sight since I've only just woken up, I slap the remaining pearls into my mouth and run a hand through my hair. Good morning, Isao. <laughs> I heard you two going crazy. Ah, go- ah. I, re I reply to her, completely forgetting that I'm in the middle of swallowing a particularly large pill. Coughing and spluttering, I violently gag on it. Ah, it's so. After spluttering loudly and tapping my chest a couple of times to force it down, I managed to recover. Fine, sorry, I forgot I was swallowing. Sorry, I didn't mean to... I hold my hand up, gesturing for Hanukkah to stop. I gagged, it's my fault. Morning, Hanukkah. She pauses for a moment before bowing in reply. Walking, no, staggering in behind Hanako is a familiar figure. So I can't walk properly right now. Oh no, that was the anal. Also dressed in her pajamas, with her eyes full of sleep and her hair bedraggled, she's a sight to behold. Hi, Lily. Good morning, Isao. Good morning, Isao. <laughs> hey, Isao, how's it going? Good morning. For a while, silence hangs in the air. This universe knows what to do. How about you just don't act weird? You really slept with each other. What's. It's. I don't know. Given what happened last night, we both have more than enough reason to be finding the situation awkward. Why? Why? I thought you said I love you. Why would I be... Oh, I don't know. Fine, whatever. Just how are we meant to react to meeting each other after something like that? I don't know. Because, like, maybe you can just be, like, in a relationship. Even though you jumped the gun a little bit and now, and now say you loved you so many times over that I don't understand what was going on. The best course of action would probably be to talk to Lily alone. To set things in order. Um, I'll start making breakfast. Lily evidently catches onto my train of thought. I'll help. Hanako, can you, can you set the table? She nods, her head disappearing into a cupboard as she quickly goes about her assigned task. I rub a little more sleep out of my eyes as I wander over to the fridge and take out some milk. And Lily grabs various brightly coloured boxes from some of the lower cupboards to my side. When we make the rather bland-looking meal, I whisper somewhat more quietly than usual, knowing Lily's hearing. She won't have any trouble catching what I say. Are you okay, Lily? After last night... She gives a delicate nod, her expression weak. Though her tiredness surely plays a part, she seems genuinely unsure about what's happening between us, and how to move ahead. 
I can't say I blame her, considering my feelings are the same. I'm sorry, Sal. I wasn't thinking straight yesterday. Is it? Oh, great. That's what I wanted to hear. I never stopped to consider you or Hanako, and I even went as far as... She's winding herself up. With her hands and voice both tightening, I give her a gentle bump to try and lighten up the situation. You have to apologize. I said I liked you as well, after all. But I... As her composure begins to falter, it becomes obvious there's no alternative. Turning to Lily, I gently embrace her tall frame. She offers no resistance at all, thankfully pulling back just from the edge of her emotions. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here as the third wheel. Don't forget old Hanako in the corner. Hi. <laughs> you know, the purple haired burnt girl. Despite our reassuring embrace lasting only a matter of seconds, I notice Hanako wordlessly watching. The plate in her hand hovers inches above the table, her action halted midway by the sight. The clatter of utensils against plates is the only sound heard as we silently eat. Whereas before only two of us may have been unsure of ourselves, the entire situation has changed. Damn, man, these lot of makes things awkward as shit. After weeks of blissful friendship, wi wi uh, whiling away the days with shared meals and chatter with little meaning, the relationship of Lily and I, no, that of all of us, has irre irreversibly changed. I can't take this. Lily. <clears throat> she solemnly nods, gently laying her spoon onto the table in front of her. Neither of us knows exactly how we regard each other, let alone how Hanukkah would view us. This may seem a bit abrupt, but uh, I've confessed to Hassel. For a moment, Hanako looks confused, precisely the reaction I thought she would have. She eventually nods, her spoon still in her mouth as she does. Did you accept? <laughs> did you accept? Did you accept? Uh, yeah, I did. She gives a small, f a smile so large and so earnest, I find myself blushing. I think it's the brightest I've seen her expression look. And I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Sorry for not telling you anything about it before. Things have been... Hanako shakes her head from side to side, empathetically, apparently forgetting in her rush that Lily couldn't possibly notice. She begins fiddling with her fingers, looking a little more nervous than she did before. To be honest, I began to think you might like each other a while ago. At first I didn't really know what to think about it, but I... I decided in the end that if my friends are happy, they are happy, and I'm happy. I was really glad to have another friend when we met Hisao, so you finding love through him is even better, right? A feeling of relief at her acceptance of our relationship falls over me like a wave. It is like, it's like having a child. Um, this is my new boyfriend. <laughs> uh, the same happens to Lily, judging by her expression. Thank you, Hanako. I really appreciate you being so understanding. Why do I give her a Welsh voice? I have no idea. Lily's voice still sounds slightly apologetic, or at least unsure. This doesn't escape Hanako, who appears lost in thought for a few moments before turning to me. So, do you mind if me and Lily go outside for a bit? Ah, uh, no, uh, feel free. It's raining, though. Hanako? Hanako? Hanako gets up from her seat, taking Lily's hand and almost dragging her from the table in excitement. Considering Lily's typical slow and steady pace, Hanako's haste makes her footing awkward and she almost loses her balance a couple of times. It's a pretty amusing sight, leaving me wordless as I watch them disappear out the door. It's only now that I realise the rain stopped, being replaced by a sky seemingly all the more vivid and bright to make up for the morning drab, gray, drab grey expanse. For Hanako, this must be a pretty big revelation. Lily and I are really the only people she associates with, almost as if we were parents in her own stead. Her own stead. I suppose that might well be the way to describe the relationship we share, a father, mother and daughter, all playing around in our little make-believe family as if it was, could last forever. It might be a strange dynamic, and one that certainly can't last for long, but maybe just for this small amount, one small moment it's okay. It is, it's really weird. It's like, well we've, we've skipped straight from uh, admitting that we have feelings for each other to having a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, that, that, that night you, you got pregnant and had a child very fast. Very fast. As I stand from the table to go and join Lily and Halico in the fields outside, I nod to myself in affirmation. No, don't. They said they wanted to talk. 
This one small moment of happiness, no matter how brief, will last with me, with all of us, forever. Submerged deep in the hot water, I let out a drawn-out sigh escape my lips. The feeling of seemingly of seemingly every muscle in my body relaxing is euphoric. I have no idea how long it's been since I had a genuine hot bath, but right now, I can hardly be bothered trying to remember. Maybe I'm giving the simple fact that for once, I get to have a real uh, bath more credit than it's due. I haven't had a bath in ages, Jesus. Moving there. The chance is, to, is to, the chance to just calm down, allow myself to unwind and have some time to myself is a welcome one. Hanako, Lily and I have wandered around outside, exploring the extent of the surprisingly large tract of land surrounding the house. Then we swept the majority of the after spent the majority of the afternoon watching television, reading and playing cards. It may not have been the most exciting finale to the trip, but such tranquil peacefulness is something to savour. Even after we return to school tomorrow, I think I'll remember this little house in Hokkaido. For a long time. I think you will. It's a pity we only have a couple more hours to spend here before going to get the train back. All I can do is yawn contentedly while I watch the steam slowly rising from the clear water's placid surface, my eyes eventually locking onto the ceiling. Our exams are imminent. I've barely studied at all for them. On top of that, I don't even know what I'll do after graduation. Passing exams is all well and good, but to what end? Also, now of all times, I'm getting into a relationship. The hell am I doing? I guess I shouldn't think like that. What's the just accept it? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh God, it annoys me. It really annoys me. Uh, what then is done? And maybe this could be viewed as just another aspect of my new life that I'm working on. I enjoy being with Lily, and there's more to life than school and a career, after all. I, as as I busily attempt to rationalise all that's happened, I hear a series of raps on the door. I pick myself up and sit upright, trying to figure out the source. Free. No. More, no more. No, no less. Light yet assertive in their tapping, and timed regularly, even though in to a, even to, even no, enough to uh, enough to tune to a tune to a metronome. I'd be extremely surprised if it wasn't Lily. Uh, may I come in? Yeah, it's Lily. I'm still in the bath. I'll be out in a sec. You've. I know. The voice coming from the other side door freezes me. After a second's thought, I rest on the side of the bath and let my arms dangle over the side. Despite trying my best to play it off, I can't help letting my mind wander. S -s sure, come in. He's you, you, you slept. It doesn't matter if you're in the shower, if you're in the bathtub. With that, she opens the door slowly, walking into the room and closing it behind her. She looks oddly calm, countering my racing heart. Uh, hey, hey, Lily, what's going on? Just having a bath. Yeah, sit in the bath. Do you mind if I take a bath with you? Do you mind if I take a bath with you? Oh, nice. I don't mind, so go ahead. With a small nod, she begins to lift the sweater off her shoulders, bearing her chest little by little. Again? Are you doing it again? Oh, I don't have to read another one, please. I'll do that for you if you like. Refused. Why? <laughs> her face shows she's still not overly comfortable with letting me attend to her. I can't say I blame her. She continues undressing her shirt and skirt. Well, here comes the cover sheep again. Jesus Christ. Her shirt and skirt falling to the floor and leaving her in her white lace bra and panties. Eventually, she stands bare in the center of the room. Yep, there it is. Compared to last time, it's a lot easier to take her entire figure. It's a wonderful sight. Hassel? Hmm? You're thinking perverted thoughts, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah? Like, yeah! <laughs> no, I'm I'm perfectly flaccid right now. Give me a break, you're undressing in front of me. She throws her brow forward. I guess this would be somewhat more erotic for you than me. Why? Because she's blind. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> she gives a small, light-hearted chuckle, which seems to settle her nerves a little. If this is too much for you, Sal, I can come back later. No, it's fine. Is it... Well, my brain's not working now, so it's fine. No, no, this is just fine. I'll just be a bit, uh, well. You're really beautiful, you know. My earnest comment draws a vivid red blush from Lily. Sal. Give a small grin. She's cute when she's taken off guard. In any case, may I come in? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Just squeeze in. Oh, between me. I lean forwards and take her soft hands in mine, helping her over the side of the bath. 
She feels out the side of the bathtub, then slowly lowers herself in, my breath catching when she sits and leans back, her front onto my front, her legs inside mine. I'd expected her to sit at the other end. Really? You'd expect her to sit at the other end? <laughs> hmm, okay. Just taking a little, uh, taking a big, taking a quick squeeze there. Letting out a long breath to calm myself. I, I rest my arms on the sides of the bath as I struggle to control my urges. I bet you are. Far from missing the sight of her assets, the feeling of her body against mine is surprisingly relaxing. If Lily's so sensitive to touch, it must be all the more so for her. You run your bath quite hot, don't you? A bit. Do you want me to run some cold water to cool it down a bit? She gives a small shake of her head. No, it's fine. Okay. The convocation, the convocation, the conversation comes to an abrupt end. Silence taken over. I'm not kidding you. Right? Okay, right. Okay. If you if you get into a shower, if you like, hey, can I have a bath with you? I I mean, I think you're expecting something's gonna happen on you. A very long and very awkward silence. Maybe this was a bit too. Don't worry. It's okay. The situation only becomes even more awkward, as if to distract herself, Lily runs her free hand over her legs while holding one over her breasts for modesty. Why? I don't... Wh why? Like, wh I don't... What? <laughs> I don't know. I sit idly watching the wall ahead of me, a rising steam, every now and again steaming a glimpse at her body. The white of her skin glistens as she keeps sliding her hand over her legs. Their length and tone are all the more obvious. You know, compared to Akira, you look a lot more foreign. I took my mother's side genetically. Akira took after my father's more. I guess that makes sense. How on earth did you did a native Scot and a Japanese businessman meet anyway? My mother was a journalist. She said she met my father while he was at the conference in Inverness. Inverness? Oh my god, Inverness! No, they, not Inverness. She made him in, uh, the Ronva. <laughs> the Ronva Valleys. No, Kevin Krupper. <coughs> That's where they met. They met in a conference in Kevin Krupper. That's where they met. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Talking about your Welsh. Talking about your Welsh side. Your Welsh side. Would you like to explain your height, I suppose? I look down at her, she nods. She sighs at the ridiculousness of the situation. This really is too much, isn't it? You're enjoying it though, aren't you? In some ways, yeah. I guess things turned out okay in the end. Everything settled down. Hanako took our relationship well and we'll be going back to school tomorrow. Indeed. It's a shame to be going back so soon. We'll still have our memories of this place. Memories, huh? I suppose so. We'll have to see how everything goes once we get back, but for now, I'm just glad you like me. I've been winding myself up for weeks about that, so I'm thankful for things turning out like this. She nods, leaning into me as we share the warmth of our bodies. I'm not sure whether she'll be okay with it or not, but my temptation rapidly begins to get the better of my self-restraint. Hey, Lily? <laughs> yeah? How was it? Last night, that is. She pauses in thought before looking down slightly. A delicate smile finds its way onto her lips as she blushes. Her body becomes more relaxed. It's more than enough to answer the question. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <sighs> Even as I give a small nod in response, thoughts of last night run through my mind. Considering the situation, I don't really think anyone would blame me. So, your heart's beating. Her voice is cut off as I delicately place my hand on her thigh. While I'd resisted before, the memory of our first time was enough to make me give in. She, leans her, she lets her body lean into mine without a word of protest. An invitation that I'd be hard put to ignore. I place a small kiss on her neck to accept, before slowly moving my hands over her smooth legs. So, please. Even as she says it, her mouth curls upwards into a smile. Her tone caught between embarrassment and awkward giggling. Eventually, she takes one of my hands in hers, guiding it to her right breast. <laughs> I greatly appreciate the tentative guidance she's willing to give me. <laughs> All signs of tension in her body give way. I continue to take in the feeling of her soft skin, redoubled as my other hand slips between her legs. <laughs> I was <laughs> so done it. Oh, why are they gonna do two in a row? Christ! I wonder if the feeling of my hands on her is exaggerated by the lack of sight, since my other senses are so finely tuned. 
She does seem to be enjoying it to a surprising extent. After all, it gives me a somewhat odd feeling, but a pleasurable one. It only takes a few minutes before her body starts to squirm ever so slightly. Her efforts to stifle her moaning become visible as she purses her lips. Her light-hearted, whispered protestant, uh, protestations become noticeably more quiet. This makes me realize that all the squirming against my body has made me increasingly excited as well. Lily? <laughs> I am popping a boner right now. I withdraw my hands to give her adult senses time to respond. Nodding, she shakily stands and offers her hands for me to lead her out of the cramped bathtub. <laughs> oh, and now they're fucking against the bathtub, fair enough. She maneuvers herself out of the bath as I do, hands holding each other's. Damn, these two. These two. they just gone full on, haven't they? Christ. Eventually, I sit beside the bathtub, the two of us fussing around a little until we get comfortable. They look like, they, they look like they're filming a fucking porno right now. Eventually, <laughs> with a small gasp, desperately constrained to avoid being audible outside, she lowers herself onto me once again. The way she moves makes it obvious that she must still be on the verge of her climax. She slowly starts to move her hips up and down, her tongue finding mine as she holds my face upwards. <laughs> I realize just how much pleasuring her has excited me. Hassau? Hassau? <laughs> Despite her clouded eyes being shut, her tightening grip on my shoulders shows that she's nearing the end of her endurance. As our breathing becomes more and more ragged, I rapidly feel my limit approaching as well. A, a series of, that was quick. A series of harsh breaths is the only warning before her final gasp of ecstasy, her entire body tensing and her fingernails digging into my shoulders. My loins hit hers. <laughs> my loins! <sighs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. Both of us frozen against each other in climax. Oh dear. These are very funny. Honestly, it looks like we're filming a porno right now. In a few precious seconds, someone had fun during this. I saw over. Lily slumped forward onto me as I tried to regain myself. And then Hanako is at the window. Hiya! That was good. She takes a gulp of air before replying, steadying herself as she nods. Hmm. She bows her head down to give me a small kiss, my hand reaching up to hold strands of her disheveled hair as we once again sit in blissful silence. <laughs> let's have another sh- Let's have another bath! Yay! <laughs> oh dear. After a chaotic dash to the station, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and finding our seats in the otherwise deserted carriage, we promptly crashed, looking at the time. Close to midnight, it's a little surprised that we, that few, uh, that few take this particular train. Hanako is fast asleep on Lily's shoulder, and I can barely muster the energy to stay awake. The excitement we had a while ago probably didn't help. I'd probably be pretty depressed about going back to school if my brain was actually working. Unfortunately, my penis is, is taking over. As it is, though, the sight of the nighttime scenery scrolling by is surprisingly beautiful. My loud yawn is nearly wholly drowned out by the clacking of the train tracks and the old carriages rattling. So tired. And whose fault is that, Isao? <laughs> she really does toe the line between insulting and amusing sometimes. Though I managed to wire it to, to ring out a wiry smile. A weary smile. I look back at the window, my reflection just visible on the clear plane. Pain. Truth be told, she's perfectly correct. If it went for that little interlude a few hours ago, both of us would have a lot more energy. On top of that, hey, she's the one that came to the fucking bathtub. What were you expecting? What the hell? She clearly was expecting that. I, I don't know what you'd expect if you decide to have a bath together. Come on. Come on. On top of that, we both had to take another bath. <laughs> both had to take another bath. Very, <laughs> but very nearly missing us, uh, making us late for the train's departure. Another bath, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was mine. Still, getting into a bath of a guy is a dangerous thing to do. Evident, evidently. Sorry, I guess I kind of took advantage of the situation back there. She knew. She knew she was getting to go in the bath. Well, I didn't exactly hate it. She trails off. Didn't exactly. What does that mean? As she trails off, I look back to her. My eyes narrow as I see her slightly reddened cheeks and a small grin. Her mind obviously elsewhere. Say it. I... I knew the possibility of it happening was there. Yeah, I knew, I knew it. You're just as dirty-minded as I am. 
She quickly coughs into a free hand, making her disapproval crystal clear. It's a rather crude way of putting it. Oh, and you would suggest I really have a healthy adolescent sex drive. So in other words, steady minded. Almost seeming to sense the moment, Hanako mumbles quietly as she furrows her brow in Mi Mi Lily's l Billy's lap. <laughs> the fuck is Billy? Billy! I don't love Lily, I love Billy. The lady's look of disapproval melts away as she gently smiles and strokes her hand on Hanako's long, dark hair. All I can do is watch. Watch and smile. If someone were to ask me when I fell in love with her, I wouldn't be able to answer. The best I'd be able to come up with it just happened at some point, but I didn't realize it. If someone were to ask me why I love her, though, that I could answer much more easily. You really love Hanako, don't you? She gives a deep nod, smiling warmly. It's a pity we have to return to school. She seems so relaxed so much while we were all away. Alright, so let's talk about Hanako, apparently. I wouldn't worry. Hanako has been gaining confidence thanks to you. At least for as long as I've known you two. She gives, she gives a self-depreciating sigh. I think I merely provided with company and support. Since she came to know you, she's opened up much more, even to me. I get the feeling she's understating her influence on Hanako. Especially given that before the two came to know each other, Hanako had no friends to speak of. The friends I ha I'd had in my previous school fulfilled what I'd had expected of them. <laughs> they filled the role of friends. For the most part, simply being there for idle chatter. But in Hanako and Lily, they really feel to be more to their relationship. A part of me envies it, but I never can't ignore the fact that the school year will eventually end. After graduation, I really have no idea what Hanako will do. This trip has shown me just how much you've all come to depend on one another. Indeed, we're all going to have to make decisions. Maybe that's the reason why, despite our return to school, also heralding a return to normalcy of everyday life, I can't help feeling a little restless. On the bright side, it won't take long for the summer holidays to arrive after our exams are finished. We, would, we could come back here during the summer holidays if you want. For a moment she thinks on the notion, her face becoming somewhat distant. I can only guess she's reflecting on all that's happened here. That'd be good, I think. I nod approvingly, smiling at her. Summer together with Lily. This idea seems like the perfect way to spend our holiday. There it is. End of the chapter. Yeah, buddy. That's where I would have ended it as well. Future. <laughs> okay. So, oh, are we are we really, are we really that close already? How long is wow? What have I just been bombing through these or what? I don't even know. After the excitement of our trip to Hokkaido, it seems strange to be right back to the usual daily routine so soon. Indeed, it feels like a normal day. Same as any other. Well, that's what I'd like to think, anyway. To tell the truth, the atmosphere of the entire class... No, the entire school has changed. While an undercurrent of subdued trepidation had previously pervaded the class, now that the exams are in sight, it's boiled over into frantic studying, rarely seen otherwise. One day until the exams start... It's horrific, really. That in and instead of studying, we went and wasted our time up north. We were such model students too. Wasted? Come on now, dude. You got some pretty funky fun times with the uh, hardy blonde. Mm -hmm. Dancing around the class, even the buddy, even the buddy, even the bubbly, ever energetic Misha seems oddly deflated. She sits at her desk, nervously chewing a pen while Muto lectures from the front of the class. Wait, on closer inspection, I do believe she's eating it. <laughs> I'm eating the pen. I'm licking. <laughs> no, no, enough. <laughs> like Kobayashi. Tearing my eyes away from the sorry spectacle, I turn my attention elsewhere. Hanako sits frantically scribbling in her own notebook, her face mere inches away from the page, seemingly trying to record every word that leaves Muto's mouth. Shiznay, well, Shiznay's cool as a cucumber. <laughs> Yeah, damn, look at that cool look at that cucumber. Hey man, what's going on? Damn cucumber, you're so cool. I know, man. I'm a pretty cool cucumber. You're the coolest cucumber. Thanks, it's so. Anytime, cucumber. <laughs> what the fuck? 
She sits diligently, taking notes of her attention, wholly focused on the front of the class. Truth be told, it's what I should be doing as well. If not for the fact that I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what's been covered already. I wonder how Lily's doing. While she does have a good head on her, she has plenty on her plate, unlike me. Her class representative duties, taking care of Hanako, her other social contacts, her English, extra English studies. That really good, really does take on a lot. But next time, we'll do stuff. And, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yay! Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That is, I've been Milby, this has been Kedro Shoujo. And, uh, thanks for watching. Five hours at nine. I don't know. Have I just been going for this quick, or I, d I have no idea. It few, I don't know how long most of them have been, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Milby. This has been Cadwish Shoujo, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.